switch and it turns on the light and the air vent. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Crazy thing happened this morning. I decided to take a pregnancy test. Okay, so it's one of those things where me and Chris have not tried, not prevented since Cora's been born because it took us a long time with Cora. We had a miscarriage, we had to use medicine, and it was just a long process. So we figured if we wanted another one, we would just not prevent one and try for one naturally. Last month, we actually took our last round of medicine that we had from when we got pregnant with Cora, and it didn't work. We didn't end up pregnant last month, and I figured that was God's way of being like, okay, you guys are going to have one baby, and I was okay with that. Me and Chris were finally like okay with the idea of Cora being an only child, and we just kind of, we accepted it, and it was okay if we didn't get pregnant again. It was just, would have been nice if it happened, and totally okay if not. Just because I had a couple of tests left from when we were trying last month, I decided to take one of the little cheapy tests this morning, a couple days before I'm due for my period. And like I said, not expecting a dang thing. But I am 90, 90, I'm gonna say 90. 90% sure there, you know, there is, there's, and it's so, it's freaking me out, because last month, I took a test like this every single day for like a week, because we were actually trying, we actually used the medicine, blah, 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 and it was stark white, I mean white, I would look, and I'd be like, oh, there's a line, there's a line, there's a line, because part of me really wanted it last month, and this morning, I'm like, okay, I'm not really looking that hard, and if I were to show you guys right here, you probably wouldn't see anything at all, so I'll just put that there, you can't, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit, probably not, no, it's literally the faintest, faintest line, and I'm, oh, I don't know how to feel, I'm literally borderline on what I should feel right now, because it's not like a full-on, boom, it's pink, and you're pregnant, it's like, okay, maybe it's just, maybe I'm just seeing things, maybe it's just a shadow, or maybe I'm really pregnant, and that would be freaking bananas. 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 That's also terrifying. So while I'm really excited right now, I'm slightly scared now because we had just put away all the ideas of having a second baby and now I'm just getting a little not nervous to have a baby, but it's like nervous to have a rough pregnancy again and not be able to take care of Cora. Nervous for the baby, you know, you're always scared that the baby's gonna be okay and Having miscarriages in the past makes you always worried throughout your whole pregnancy if you're going to lose the baby. And labor and delivery was rough for me for Cora, so it's just kind of like, how did I just give up the idea of having a second baby and I might actually be wearing it right now? My mind is literally blown. And it's first thing in the morning. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> but I'm thinking what I need to do is go get one of the... Uh, the better pregnancy tests, the ones that are not on the internet tests, and see if that one comes out. Right, there's a legit shadow of a mind there, bro. Like, holy crap. Holy crap. God literally works in such crazy ways. It blows my mind every single time something like this happens. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. That would literally mean, hi, baby, it's okay. Mama has happy tears. Oh. Dude, you might be a big sister, bro. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm literally up stunned. And I, oh, okay. But maybe it's not, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. What do you think? Do you think Mama pregnant? Is Mama pregnant? Mama have baby? Yes. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go get everything that I need to get done, and then get one of the uh, other more stronger pregnancy tests and fully find out, but <sighs> are you going to be a big sister? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I literally like, keep looking back at it because I'm like, okay, maybe it was just wet and it looked like there was a shadow, but it's been like 20 minutes. Shadows. That shadow is there. 
seeing that shadow. I'm not, I'm not making that shadow up. Like, that's what I keep telling myself. I'm like, no, I'm just making, I'm making it up. Line eyes, line eyes. Anybody that takes a million pregnancy tests throughout a long period of time, you get line eyes, which is like, you see a line that isn't there. That's what I'm thinking. But it's there, bro. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna go get a real test now. That's a real test. I'm gonna go get a better test. So it is a significant couple of hours later. It is now almost 12.30. The last time I took the cheapy test was this morning and I just looked at it again and it is still slightly positive. <laughs> um, I went to the store and I went and I got clear blue test. There's actually one sitting right here just blinking away waiting for the result. I decided to do it out here instead of in the bathroom because my bathroom has really bad sound quality in there because of the fan that is running. So the first part of this clip, you guys probably couldn't hear me very well, but here's the second part where I'm taking the digital test that will clearly say pregnant or not pregnant and I'm... <sighs> I've been thinking about it all morning and it's like I'm going back and forth and I truly think that it's a defense mechanism for my heart to not get too attached to the idea of getting pregnant because maybe I don't know maybe I was just seeing something on those tests earlier but even right now I took another one of those cheapy tests and that very 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 faint line is there so I'm hoping that if I am pregnant I am able to pick it up on this clear boot clear blue test and oh, again it's like I said it's like I'm going back and forth in my mind with how to feel about if it is positive or if it's, I don't know, it's like, I, I truly feel like it's a defense mechanism. Like, I don't want to get too excited or too happy for fear of miscarrying the baby. Because that's a possibility. It's, it's in my past and it's happened before. So, the fact that I found out, like, if I, if it is pregnant, if I am pregnant, and I find out today, I will be very, 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 very early again. So, once again, it's a very, very, very early finding out so I'm gonna have the next stressful couple of months just praying that the baby sticks and I'm just very I don't know I don't know how to explain it I guess skeptical like I was praying this morning too and I was thanking God but also you know asking him to remove any fears that I have if I am pregnant but also feeling super skeptical like thanking him for possibly being pregnant but I don't know and I can look at this right now I can look at it right this very second, but I'm terrified. I'm terrified to look because part of me feels like I got decently excited for possibly being pregnant. So I don't want it to say not pregnant, but then I have a faint line. So maybe it's just really early and I'd have to take another one later. I don't know. Oh, it's one of those things. It's one of those things, guys. And I don't... I don't know, I haven't vlogged in a while, so if this goes up on my channel as my welcome back to YouTube, that's great. Another baby, another pregnancy that hopefully doesn't completely and totally knock me out. I just realized it is not, oh, it's backwards on there, but it's supposed to be 11 days to Thanksgiving. Is it 11? Yeah, 11, but it still says 19. I'm a little behind. Anyways, okay, so should I look? Should I look? I'm gonna look. I think I'm gonna, whew. oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my God. 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 Oh, and it's backwards, but that's, that says pregnant. Holy crap. Literally? Literally. How? How is that possible? I mean, I know how it's possible. That's a dumb question. I know how it's possible, but it's like, how is it that we tried last month? We actually tried last month. We used my ovulation medicine last month and it didn't work. I ovulated, but we didn't get pregnant. And this month I didn't use any medicine. I didn't do anything. We literally got pregnant on our own. We literally got pregnant on our own. 
oh my gosh. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I'm shocked. Oh crap. Dang, seeing the faint line doesn't do nothing. Seeing it actually say pregnant, oh my god, I'm actually pregnant and I have to go to work right now. That's what I said this morning too when I was praying. I was like, the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. And my first desire was always just to simply be able to have a baby. And he gave me that with Cora. And then lately, my desires were to just get pregnant on our own. like, And it actually be a surprise versus it being planned. <laughs> and literally last month we tried to plan it and he was like, stop it, Christina. Stop interfering with my plans. And he put it. He, he put it into action this month by itself, without any medicine, without any, with a surprise. Like literally, God answered the desires of my heart and I am, I'm, I'm floored. We literally just decided we weren't going to have any more kids. We just decided, like, it's okay. God gave us one. We're okay with just one. Talked about, like, our future as just parents of one kid. And now, God said, nope. Nope. I'm freaking pregnant again. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get to breastfeed again. I'm going to get to bring home a newborn again. Like I literally didn't think that that was going to be able to happen. Oh, literally, literally for the longest time me and Chris were like, man, I hope we cherished those newborn and baby moments because I don't think we're going to have it again. I don't think we're going to get pregnant again. And we did. Anything, anything wrong can, can go wrong. I could miscarry. I could lose the baby. I had that in my mind, so I don't want to get too excited. But I'm excited. I am excited. But I'm going to have faith. And that's where I'm like, okay, but you have to have faith. You have to have faith in the Lord that the Lord is not going to put this in my heart if it's going to be taken away. Like, I have to have faith that everything's going to be okay. That this baby's going to stay and everything's going to be okay. And I'm going to call it right now. I think it's a boy. I called it with Cora when I got pregnant with her. She was right. I'm going to call it now. I think it's a boy. So, oh, I'm pregnant, guys. Oh, my God. This is from fourth pregnancy. No, that battery's long dead. No, because it would still read. That's from this morning. No, it's not. That's what I said. I don't believe you. You mess with me. Are you messing with me right now? Are you serious? Are we really pregnant? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Oh my god. The next month after. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. What the f <laughs> That's what I said. How? There is no- <laughs> Yeah. You're kidding me. I'm not. I'm really not. What the f I literally said that. I said, it's S funny- It took six years to get- <clears throat> It's funny how- <clears throat> <clears throat> How last month. Right? We take medicine. Is that why you were smiling at me in the car? Yeah. <laughs> Not for the reason that I perceived. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Are you... See? God gave us what oh we wanted. Oh my god. The desires of oh our hearts. Listen. Lord. With Cora. Right? And now our desire of our heart. Now our desires of our heart was to get pregnant as a surprise. And we literally got that. He said, why did you try to rush me? He didn't. Get us pregnant last month. Dude, oh my god. But he gets us pregnant. Yeah. 
It's okay, Cora. Oh. It's not sad. She's watching Olaf. Christina, you're really pregnant. I'm really pregnant. Here, let me turn this off. So you